Hi, I'm Owen Dugan. As Features Editor at Wine Spectator, it's not unusual for me to buy and taste hundreds of cheeses in a week. I'm here at Murray's Cheese in Greenwich Village to take a look at their great selection and learn a little bit more about this delicious product. Let's go inside. When I walk into a cheese shop, I want to make sure the cheese looks clean and fresh. Once I find something I like, they should cut the cheese to order. That way I know I'm getting the freshest possible cheese. At Murray's, they have over 200 cheeses from around the world and a staff that knows everything about the subject. At the helm is a true expert on the subject, Rob Caulfield. He's a leader in the world of quality cheese, and today he's going to share some of his knowledge and lots of his passion with us. So I found a good shop. I've perused the case a little bit. I'm approaching the counter. What should I do next? Our main job here is to provide you with, as one of my staffers said yesterday, um, accessible expertise. Our whole purpose hmm. is to put you at ease and take the intimidation factor out of it. And the first way we do that is to try and find out through tasting cheeses you know, what do you like? Perhaps you don't know that you like uh, stinky cheeses, uh, wash rind cheeses. Mm. But most people will come in and say, mm, I'm not sure what I want. You know, I want something gooey or creamy or stinky. Or I, th I like blue cheeses, but not too strong. But once we have a little bit of information, we can work around it. The cheeses are organized by style and country country self-explanatory obviously. Uh, style would mean fresh like mozzarella or fresh goat mm. cheese, bloomy rind like a brie or a triple cream, washed rind, stinky cheese, pressed cheeses, cheddars, gruyeres, and then we tend to separate out blue cheeses in their own category. Do you have any serving tips? Well cheese and, and, and many foods are, are better served at room temperature. It takes a little bit longer for a hard cheese to get to room temperature you know, than a soft cheese. But on average, you're talking about an hour before serving. Bring it up to room temperature to get full flavor. You can display it on the plate you know, in, in chunks, if you will, and let people take their own, in which case you should have a different knife for every cheese mm -hmm. you know, so that you're not you know, messing up with flavors. Now, what about storing cheese at home? I, I hear all this about plastic versus paper. You wrap in plastic at the store, but you sell in paper. Can you explain that to me? Ideally, we would not wrap the cheese in plastic. But again, having said that, you know, we have huge turnover. It's not in plastic very long. Each time a piece is cut, it's rewrapped and fresh, so it's not just sitting in there. If you are going to wrap it, yes, it's better in a wax paper sort of thing. Uh, aluminum foil is good for blue cheese, but not many other things. Some people have success with Tupperware type things, uh -huh. make little mini environments for a chunk of Parmesan. More frequent shopping would be better. Let us do the storage, let us do the aging, let us do you know, all of that for you uh, so that you can enjoy you know, the best possible quality when you buy. That, that would be the ideal solution. Is there anything you have today that you're especially excited about? We've got unbelievable Tom de Savoie. I've got a wheel over here that I, uh, that I unwrap for you. This is a classic French cheese from the Savoie, from up in, up in the mountains, nutty, savory, Beautiful ivory paste. It's a raw milk tome de Savoie. And if you want to have a cheese experience, you know, you're, that's it. All you need is a chunk of that. All right, Rob, thanks very much for having us today. Pleasure. I, you're always welcome. And if I can help you in any way, please, please let me know. You can help me find some more great cheeses. This could be the beginning of a beautiful friendship. <laughs> let's, let's go take a look. Let's go.